So you are not stating the total condition. You are saying in the middle of the night you wake up and you find that you cannot trust anything, anybody including yourself. The thoughts. The thoughts. And still you are laughing and smiling. Aren't you? So why are you laughing? Going by what you are saying, the incomplete description that you are providing, your situation should be quite miserable. But you look all right. Why are you still all right? If you cannot trust anything, anybody, then why are you smiling? Huh? You are smiling because you indeed do have the one to trust. It is your trust in Him that has enabled you to not trust anybody else. You now trust so much in Him that you cannot trust the false. With complete faith in the truth, you have total disregard for the false. So do not just talk of total disregard. If you are talking of not trusting anybody, immediately I know that you are greatly testing now the one. But that is your secret love affair. You don't want to disclose it. You only want to talk of, oh, I cannot trust him, I cannot trust him, I cannot trust even myself. And you are not saying that you are trusting something else so much now. Without, I am asking again, without complete faith in the truth, how can there be a complete rejection of the false? If you are able to drop more and more, if you are able to see more and more as false, it only means that you are coming closer and closer to the truth. It is only with the eyes of truth that you see the false, as false. So when you see a lot of falseness around you, celebrate. It means now you are in truth. Without being in truth, how would you ever see falseness as falseness? When you lose everything, rejoice. Because now it means you have something special. You have something so special with you that you are prepared to lose everything. Truth wants you to be awake after midnight. Listen to him. Does relationship call for your thought? An insect comes to you and sits on your form, this form that you are carrying with you. An insect flies and lands on that form in front of you, that paper, that sheet of paper. Huh? You look at the insect and now you have, are in relationship with that insect. Now what do you do? Think about the right action or is there spontaneous action? Will you think about the form, the insect and the various options available and hence the right action? Relationship is not something that is premeditated. One is in relationship every moment, every moment. If your central relationship with the truth is alright, then all your other relationships that are continuously coming and going in the flow of time, then all your other relationships are automatically alright. 
then you will know what to do with the insect and whether to do anything with the insect. The question of relationship cannot be a ready-made question, a predetermined question. I am again asking, comes an insect and sits on that sheet of paper in front of you. How do you know what is your right relationship with that insect? How do you know hence what is the right action? You cannot think and decide because one insect might be coming after the other. You may not have time to think. Life is such a continuous flow that you cannot wait to respond. So you forget about having relationships with this and that. Keep your central relationship all right, healthy. When the central relationship is all right, everything else is by itself all right. Hmm? You will know then how to behave with the shopkeeper. You will know how to uh, <coughs> behave with your father or son or husband or with your neighbor or with your boss or with a stranger or with a tree. You will know all of that. When you are in peace, when you are in silence, then you know how to behave with anything and everything. 